Whitehall man says a crew hired by Duquesne Light cut down a tree in his front yard without permission. Shelley Board sp spoke with that homeowner this afternoon. The beloved silver maple tree once stood right here in the corner of this yard in Whitehall. Now all that's left is a stump. We love that tree. This is the silver maple tree that used to stand at the corner of Adam Long's property here in Whitehall. He says not only did the 35 foot tree add curb appeal, it provided shade, acted as a sound barrier, and was the centerpiece of all their holiday decorations. We use it every year for Halloween decorations, drape stuff off it. We always put up cobwebs off of it and people come by and say how nice it looks. Long says Duquesne Light trimmed the tree often because of low-hanging power lines nearby. So when a crew showed up in February, he just assumed they were there for that reason. Um, they said it was partially a species issue and partially the power lines. Um, but every year they pruned it back fine and we had no complaints, obviously, because that's not a big deal to us. Long immediately called and emailed Duquesne Light to find out what happened. To his surprise, a representative told him his address was scheduled for a tree removal, which required a signature. A signature Long says Duquesne Light never asked for nor received, but says they have. They said they sent out a robocall two, two to three years ago. Um, they said they left, sent something in the mail two to three years ago. As if it couldn't get any worse, Long says Duquesne Light initially refused to pay for the cleanup. This picture he shared with KDKA TV shows the mess that was left behind. If you're going to cut someone's tree down, you take it that day. And the fact that we had to email them to get them to take the wood away is kind of insane to me. Long tells us Duquesne Light offered them $1,000 in tree vouchers, which they declined. In Whitehall, Shelley Bortz, KDKA TV News. And Duquesne Light tells KDKA the tree removed is a species that grows tall and quickly and can cause service interruptions. It says it's been in contact with the Long family and has offered to have the tree stump removed.